Everyone, meet Star Quantos. She is my original character for Hogwarts Legacy. As you might have guessed, she is in Ravenclaw. I based her on my personality. For example, Star enjoys solving puzzles and assisting others with tasks that ordinary wizards or witches can't do. Canonically, she is a Futanari, and if you don't know what that is, you must be at least 18 before searching for that term. Most of the footage you will see in this episode takes place towards the end of the game, so I highly recommend that you either search for a story synopsis or play the game for yourself. On Xbox, the complete edition of Hogwarts Legacy is roughly $75. If you have that kind of money, you should check out the game for yourself because it is really good in my opinion. This clip is really hilarious for several reasons. For instance, the headmaster of Hogwarts in this game is an ancestor to the Harry Potter character Sirius Black. When I first discovered that Headmaster Black cancelled Quidditch, I was disappointed because I was looking forward to playing as a seeker for Ravenclaw. Oh, Black hadn't cancelled it, we wouldn't be looking for the blasted thing Come in the on. first place. Where are you? Revelia! You're saying it wrong! Ugh, Revelia! <sighs> Much better. Oh, shut up! Wait! Accio! Ugh. He's ruined my entire school year. I hope a puff skein goes up his nose and snatches his brain. Puff skeins are beasts that wizarding families often keep as pets. Their favorite meal is bogeys, but they can eat just about anything. So the Ravenclaw girl who wanted a puff skein to snatch Professor Black's brain might actually be onto something. It had poisoned the poor beast. What sort of headmaster doesn't allow sports? Deserves to be an Azkaban. That'd suit him. Ah, oh, if Black was an Azkaban, I should pity the Dementors. The man has no soul to take. <laughs> Besides, Azkaban wouldn't suit Black. Not enough mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> True or words were never spoken. Impressive wand work. I'd hate to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed ones. Other duelists had better beware. While I was practicing for crossed ones, I came across glitched students who appeared to be partially inside the ground. This was the only time I can recall that happening in the game. While it may not be perfect, Hogwarts Legacy has to be one of the greatest open world games to come out this year. Leviosa. I came across a Hufflepuff speaking to a Gryffindor, and I never actually thought I would hear either one say that they liked having a Slytherin in charge of the school. I suppose in the late 1800s, the Wizarding World had a higher opinion of Slytherin House and treated Muggleborn students less kindly. I thought Professor Black would get rid of all the muggle-born students. Too much to hope for, I suppose. I'm glad there's a Slytherin in charge of the school, willing to make the hard decision. Power should be kept in the oldest pure-blood families, like the Blacks. Wouldn't want riffraff running things. That's what my mother said. There's a scene in this game where if you wander down the right corridor, you will come across two suits of armor. I feel like a certain clip from Prisoner of Azkaban fits this situation. Finally, the flesh reflects the madness within. Well, you'd know all about the madness within, wouldn't you, Remus? I'm showing this particular clip because my original character isn't afraid to use unforgivable curses to get what she wants. Plus, the way the goblins react to Imperio is absolutely priceless to listen to. This clip is kind of funny in my opinion. This random NPC requires a Wiganwelt potion, but wait till you see what happens when you don't have any on you. Everything alright? Far from it. I wandered into a ruin and was attacked by spiders. Oh. If you've got some Wiganwelt potion though, I'm sure that would put me right. 
I was sure I had some, but it seems not. <sighs> Afraid I'm not able to help. Good luck with the, uh, spiders. Oh, no, I really am doomed. What a horrible way to die. I hope I survive the night. My character in this clip stated that she wanted to see what the grab horn can do to the dark wizards that were attacking her. However, someone kept spamming the paralyzing spell, and I had to defeat them by myself. Oh well, there goes that plan. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Victor Rookwood is a dark wizard who originally allied himself with the main antagonist of this game, a goblin named Ranrock. This battle is Rookwood's attempt to silence the main character so that he can obtain the ancient magic source underneath Hogwarts. When Star defeats Rookwood, she states that she needs to send a letter to her friend, Nati a Gryffindor who has helped her to expose Rookwood's plans. We'll see more of her several clips from now. I can't believe it. Rookwood's reign is finally over. I'll need to send an owl to Natty right away. For now though, I need to get back to the map chamber and tell Fig what's happened. At the end of the game, Renrock uses the ancient magic source underneath Hogwarts to transform himself into a dragon. A dragon as the final boss. Where have I seen that before? I find it interesting that two games that came out in the same year had a dragon as a final boss. Could that be a coincidence? You decide. Dodge! Though you will only see a few clips here, this took me several tries to even defeat the final boss. I have the habit of falling for the same trick twice, which is kind of embarrassing. Why didn't you die? At this point in the game, I decided to use some of the potions that I have crafted to assist me with the final boss. I'd say it was worth it because I had managed to defeat Ranrock. <laughs> Poppy Sweeting is a Hufflepuff girl who we first meet in Beast class. She cares for magical creatures and helped the main character to I save some once thought to be extinct creatures known as Snidgets. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, Snidgets were used in Quidditch, which was inhumane. The last time we spoke to her, she was protecting the newly hatched Snidgets from poachers who wanted to sell them for money. Of course. It's the sort of thing friends do for each other, isn't it? I suppose so. I am glad you came to Hogwarts. It's already been my best year. I wouldn't want a repeat of Hauntel Hall, of course, but I did enjoy the Three Broomsticks. Had no idea how lovely it was there. Had you never been to the Three Broomsticks? I used to spend most of my time with Highwing, and, well, I don't know how Serona feels about hippogriffs popping in for a butterbeer. It has all been a pleasure, Poppy. Do try and stay out of trouble. Don't know that I can. We've taken on poachers twice now, successfully, I rather think you've helped me develop a taste for it. And with centaurs as allies, I might actually go looking for trouble. You and I should meet for a butterbeer soon. Perhaps Hywin can join us? I like to think that Star has a crush on Poppy because they both share a love for magical creatures. Plus, the name of the mission is Poppy Blooms, which can be considered a metaphor for how Poppy feels about the main character. She did say that they could meet again to share a butterbeer. <laughs> After beating the main game, the Room of Requirement expands to allow for more room to decorate to your heart's content. I will be quiet so that you can listen to the music in this place because I think it's kind of catchy.
I found a Hufflepuff chatting with a Ravenclaw. They have an intriguing conversation, but then the Ravenclaw girl asks what has to be one of the most important questions in the wizarding world. Do you think it's painful to be in a half-transfigured state? Yikes. I wouldn't want to imagine that. During the post-game, Natsai Onai, or Natty for short, found a letter that was written by Harlow, a dark wizard who was a business partner to Rookwood until we defeated him. During this mission, Harlow plans to ambush Natty in the main character because he has lost a lot of money from the meddling Hogwarts students. Suggested we could gather evidence from a friend near Manor Cape. But she warned us to stay out of it, was rather adamant about it. Precisely. Harlow knows that we saved Archie, and that we rescued Mr. Rabe. The letter didn't come from Mrs. Bickle, did it? I do not believe it did. Harlow intends to ambush us. But now we have the upper hand. We can prepare. We are stronger than Harlow, and he knows it. That's why he's resorting to this sort of trickery. We must go. Agreed. Let's finish this. Brilliant. You fight like a muggle. Little Natsai Onai, innit? And her excruciatingly loyal companion. You two have done quite a bit of damage to my business interests. <laughs> but I must gradually give you some credit. What was once a mere annoyance has become remarkably problematic. Fortunately, I pride myself on my problem-solving skills. Hmm. Harlow is kind of smug for someone who has lost a lot of money. Little does he know that these Hogwarts students have experience in dueling. Much like with Rookwood, Harlow uses Avada Kedavra to try to defeat the main character. Watch what happens when we defeat him. Are you sure you are up for a visitor? Yes, mother. I feel fine, and it will do me good to see my friend. Very well. But do not overdo it, Natsai. I know, mother. Main character considers Natty to be a valuable friend. Natty has told the story of her father sacrificing himself to save her when she was young, and Star is the main character comments saying that Natty is much like her father. The two of them chat for a bit, with Natty stating that their friendship is among the most important in her life. But Nurse Blaney says that I am on the mend. I'm sorry, Natty. It's my fault you got hurt. What? No! Do not blame yourself for this. The moment that I saw Harlow aim his wand at you, well... You did what came naturally. I suppose it was instinct. Yes. I could not simply stand there and let you get hurt. Then I shouldn't feel guilty? Of course not. There was nothing that you... Oh. Oh my. I cannot believe that it took me this long to see it. He made a choice. Based on instinct, my father, you, my friend, are no more to blame for my injuries today than I am to blame for my father's sacrifice years ago. From what I know of him, it seems there's a lot of your father in you. That's very kind of you to say. I hope that you are right. This has all been a bit much, hasn't it? A battle here at Hogwarts. Everything we have done to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot. But we have done it. 
Rookwood is dead, Harlow is on his way to Azkaban, and the rest of them are on the run. A few of the dregs will still be about, fighting for their lost cause. But Rookwood's enterprise has fallen apart. Everything is safer now because of us. Because of you. Thank you, but we make a formidable team. You, my fellow traveler, have enriched my time at Hogwarts beyond anything I could have imagined. Thank you. I believe your friendship to be one of the most important in my life. Thank you for coming to visit me. It is always good to see you. Friendship. Friendship? Again? Thank you for watching. You might have wondered where I've been these last few months. I've been dealing with a lot when it comes to my time, busy with work and all that. I struggled to keep up with a consistent uploading schedule. However, I managed to find the time in this month of August to work on a couple of videos to include this one. As for my Kirby's Adventure playthrough, I intend to complete recording it at some point. I have already recorded footage for every episode, I just need to add voice lines to complete the playthrough. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, or subscribe to the channel. Again, I've been finding trouble managing the time to work on videos. I can only hope that someday I will be a video editor not only as a hobby, but as a profession. I did go to school for this kind of thing after all. With that said and done, I hope to see you all on a paradise planet.